hello everyone uh, welcome to my new video today we will see how we can configure <coughs> to ACS 880 drive in master follower configuration so the test setup that I have got today is this one I have a PLC which gives the start command to the master drive and uh, the master drive will be giving the start command to the follower drive using the XD2D port so the XD2D port is readily available on your drive so this is the XD2D port this is the drive to drive port and this has uh, three terminals you should be using a shielded uh, pair cable and uh, I just use the Profibus cable for this uh, you can use a shielded core cable uh, the one two three uh, two cables here and third should be the sheet and the same should be connected to the other drive uh, ACS 880 drive ok so this is the test setup that I have and we will be giving start command from PLC to drive so this part uh, I have already explained many times in my channel video you can have a look uh, today we will be concentrating on how the master drive can give a start command to the follower drive uh, we will be explaining how the follower can be configured as a torque follower and a speed follower ok so open the drive composer <coughs> so I have two drives so I already named this drive as a master drive and second one as a follower drive so we'll see how we can configure the master drive uh, as so you need to go to here 60 so DDCS communication so the communication port so as I told I'll be using this XD2D port ok the master node address I keep it as 1 ok and the master follower mode so I'm configuring this as the master so you need to configure DDCS master okay since I have already one drive I keep it as star then all this you can configure it um, default and one important thing is like both the drive you need to make sure that uh, the scaling that is this one the 46 group especially the speed scaling and the torque scaling should be same both master and follower drive okay should be same as the uh, master the follower should be same as the master okay mm, let's go back to this and the master follower reference one type you can keep it as auto this is nothing but the scaling uh, the reference one that the master is going to the giving to the follower so this should be kept as auto reference 2 can be kept as a torque okay or even you can keep, keep this as speed which means the reference one type will be speed reference 2 type will be torque and this is nothing but we are configuring the scale scaling factor for this okay and uh, follower selection so uh, I'm going to send this uh, I'm master is going to uh, give command to the follower so let's select follower node 2 which means I have to select I have to configure my follower node addresses 2 okay it, uh, see you can see that already the master follower communication fault has come okay and the um, follower enable uh, you can keep it as always or use this this means that if the follower drive is uh, re ready to be on and uh, drive is ready then yeah, the master will give command otherwise the master will just give command it will not care about uh, slave so better uh, for a safety factor we keep this okay all others 
let it be default and master is going to give the command to the follower so let's give this data one selection as control word so master is going to send his control word to follower and uh, the master data 2 let's keep a uh, speed reference and this one as torque reference this means the master is going to send his control word uh, speed reference and torque reference to the follower master follower link okay you can already see uh, when we configure here you can see the what the data is ma master is going to send and uh, receive receive is only used for follower so in the master side you don't need to configure anything here now let's configure the follower okay so uh, as i explained the uh, this parameter should match the master so now we are configuring the follower so yeah so we are going to use the same communication port and the node there should be two okay and this should be this configured as a follower because we are using this as a follower and uh, since i have only one drive i keep it star and master follower reference one type okay this again reference one is speed so i keep speed this for the scaling and uh, master follower selection no need then uh, uh, follower should be enabled only when the follower is ready uh, and ready for command accepting command so this is done now follower is going to receive something so what we are going to receive the control word from master so configure the same thing here and reference one which is nothing but the speed reference that we are going to receive from master and reference two which is the torque reference we are going to receive from master so follower part is done now you can see that master this if you reset there is no more fault because we master already detected the follower here now to run this uh, uh, follower from master we need to configure certain things the first is the uh, operation mode let's say we are going to use this follower as a speed control we'll explain speed control first okay uh, then start stop function this should be changed to master follower link because we are going to receive the start command from master follower and uh, um, yeah then speed reference uh, speed reference source is again from master follower reference one okay and selection we change to speed reference one means the speed reference is from master follower and we are receiving the speed uh, selecting this as to take the speed from here so now the basic setting is done now we can give a start command to master and see okay so now if I give a start command you can see that you can see that uh, this is the the red and the green this is the master and pink and brown is the torque of the uh, pink is the speed and torque of the uh, uh, slave okay so these two are the follower this is from the master so you can see when i gave a start command the follower tried to follow the speed of the master
okay i'll give i'll, I'll keep you can see when i vary the speed you can see that the mass transit follower is trying to match the speed of the master you can see that it is almost same mass transit follower speed give a negative command yeah again follower is trying to follow the master okay now what if uh, we want to configure this drive as a follower as torque follower means now the you can see that uh, the follower is trying to follow the speed of the master so this is the speed so you can see the follower trying to follow the speed of the master now let's uh, configure this follower as a torque follower which means that it will not care what speed the follower runs it just want to match the torque of the uh, master okay so to configure the follower as a torque follower uh, we need to change mm, the operation mode to torque the slave only on the follower the only on the follower we change this to torque and change this to external to which means the drive is going to operate in torque control mode and uh, the torque reference chain in 26.11 that is the torque reference one source we will change to master follower reference 2 because the master is sending the torque reference to uh, reference 2 means uh, because we are sending uh, to here the torque reference so which is received in follower as master follower reference 2 reference 2 okay that's why I configure the talk reference sources much of all our reference to so now we will see now we will see that uh, before it was following the speed now the follower will try to follow the torque of the master so now let's give a start command yeah because external and now it is an external two uh, external two so I need to give the external two command here so which should be again master follower link okay now we will try So you can see that the master, <coughs> the follower is trying to follow the torque of the master. Before you, in the before when it was in speed follower, this red and pink was matching because it was trying to follow the speed of the master. Now I gave a uh, different uh, speed and you can see that master follower is trying to follow the torque of the master. We can compare the other graph which was in speed control before the okay. you can see that before it was in speed control so it was the torque was not matching but speed was matching so when I put to torque follower it doesn't care about the speed it just want to match the torque you can see it exactly follows the talk so I hope uh, this was clear to everyone so this is how we configure the master follower setup in ec track so thanks for uh, seeing this video and your support
Thank you so much.